I'm Matt Cerrone from MetsBlog.com and SNY.TV, and I'm talking with Razor Shines. You've been a popular guy in this camp this year, i got to tell you. A lot of people are talking about you. They can hear you all over Tradition Field. Your motivational style is awesome. Don't get him up! Oh boy! Gotta go, tough ball! Oh boy! You guys need to throw? Everybody all right? <laughs> You're talking a lot to the players. Tell me what you're trying to get through to them. What's like the big message this camp? Well, well, the big message is number one, to be positive. And number two, in order to win a championship, there's certain things that you have to do. There's a price to pay to win a ring. That's, 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 that's one of the slogans that we're going to use. And there's a price to pay. And what that price is, it's a lot of sweat, a lot of long hours, and, and sometimes some tears. But we can do that. We plan on doing that. And that's part of the process. Now, <clears throat> I understand you were with the Phillies last year. Now, coming here, obviously coming from the Phillies who defeated the Mets, what can you bring from that experience to this team and maybe even use to help motivate these guys? Well, well, first of all, uh, the, the Phillies is, a, is you know, I, I, I don't know how much that the people here know about the Phillies organization, but I know firsthand that it is a well-run class organization from the top down. Um, that, that's, that's not a slight to anybody. That's just a compliment on the way that they do things over there. And um, that's one of the things that you have to do in order to be successful. You have to believe, first of all, that those things will occur. Understanding that there will be setbacks. Understanding that because nothing's going to be easy. But once you understand that and know that the pain, uh, the tears, and the sweat is a part of it, then I think you'll be successful. Yeah, I hear Jerry talk a lot about that sort of evolution, uh, that, you know, the, the last two years, sure, it was painful, but it is part of the long-term process. But you get a lot of uh, young guys, obviously. We also have some veterans who have been around a while. Some maybe have been in the postseason. You know, I think some fans get this feeling that with the big paycheck that these guys maybe lose some of the passion for it, which, you know, if you ask them, obviously they say no. I mean, what do you say to that? And if, if do you, can you use that, can you bring these guys back into that sort of young, hungry mindset? Well, I, I think the fan that thinks that the guys that are making the big paychecks are not exactly hungry, I think what they should do is to come down and take a look at spring training. Come down and see how hard a Carlos Beltran works in center field on his game. Come down and see how many ground balls a day David Wright takes. Come down and see how hard Jose Reyes runs a ball out during spring training or, or goes in the hole and makes a play. These guys work extremely hard. And the fact that they make a, um, a good living doing it, I, I think that's wonderful. But make no mistake about it, they are not going to take time off because of their paycheck.